Prepare yourself for a sprawling discussion on just about anything, where critical thinking meets pop culture in a collision of mind-bending proportions. Please secure all neurons and prepare for full frontal cortex. It's time for Incoherent Ramblings. Hello everybody and welcome to an all new episode of Incoherent Ramblings. Yeah! This is episode 54. Four, three. What? Three. three. 53. Episode 53. <laughs> what? What? Three. what? Exactly. What? I am your wannabe host, Joey Shamel. We also have... Paul Huttinger. Kale Anderson. <laughs> and Daryl Jores. Ralph Niedelandelman. Ralph. Good Ralph. to have you here. Good since, to have you here. Since, since Ralph is uh, off camera, we've decided to put it. It's um, it's so hard to look at the puppet instead of. What do you mean? I'm trying to remember. Oh, that's right. That's him. And yeah. I got to remember to actually it's move. It's weird because the sound seems like it comes yeah. from elsewhere. He's so constipated. Oh, but the puppet looks okay. He's throwing Baby. his voice the wrong way. I know. <laughs> so uh, I like it's, a, uh, it's like a bad Chinese or Japanese movie. Oh, Godzilla! Oh, <laughs> 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 All right. Gaiji! All right. So, <laughs> a strange foreigner. Gaiji? <laughs> no, okay. Kaiji. Is, oh, Kaiji. Is, okay. Yeah. I'm in. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot. Today's oh, what? <laughs> 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 yeah, we're good. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're good. Uh, it's all yeah. Okay. Today's it's all good. today's uh, sponsor is Sideshow Tim the Enchanter. Woo! What? Yeah. <laughs> what? From, what is your favorite what? color? From Monty Python's <laughs> only girl. Right. Because he says what a lot. What? What? So uh, that's today. Do you want to explain what a little bit to us? Why we're sure. Doing this? this was my choice, what the and <gasps> this was actually inspired by Alan Alda because he has. Um, so why his, isn't he our the guy from Mash? Yeah. <laughs> yes, the guy from Mash. It's Alan Alda's um, Center for Communicating Science. A few years back, he started this challenge that was called "What Is Flame," which is actually our first topic. Oh. Um, but what was interesting about it is he he said that um, he was listening to children in school, like you know, how do you how do teachers or how does anybody explain the concept of flame to an eleven year old so that they can actually understand what's happening? And um, so he made it a challenge where he wanted kids to submit material that basically explained how the phenomena of flame occurs. And people submitted videos and, and other uh, pieces of media. So this became an annual contest where he always has um, a, a different topic yeah, each bad. year. Like t this year's For some reason, I was topic a lot taller is, than everybody else. <laughs> the topic this year is what is color, mm -hmm. right? And so that's the goal is to kind of like think about things the way that like adults normally don't break things down. Because you, you hear someone ask you like, what is flame? You go, well, it's combustion. Or you come up with some piece of jargon that explains it away without actually telling you what's going on. So is this right? on the no. web, or is it PBS, or...? It's on the web. NPR, it's on the yeah. Web. Okay. And um, I think it is it some is sponsored. Station. He does yeah. do stuff for PBS, too. But, um, tree hugging. So that's that was the main goal, is Film. just to okay. try to think about things in a way where we break it down to basics, and instead of like piling on a bunch of buzzwords, let's put it in plain English and think about how these things happen. All right, that, well, that sounds good. So uh, today's going to be the what questions, but before we get to the... Oh, remember, you can always reach <coughs> us at show at iamrambling.com, and please comment. Yeah, no one's going to make it this far into the episode to hear that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to do at the beginning. Uh, like, that's worked so far. Well, if they're listening to this, that means they, they found us. <laughs> found us. They found in The three rambling. people found us. No! Now, I don't know now how they have found us. Front forward, Marty! Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> 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 The Libyans. <laughs> who do you think? The who Libyans. Do you think? It's aliens. Not, who do you it's think? always aliens. The Pre Rebel! Pre Rebel! Yeah, time wrong. All right, so. Hey! hey. Whoa! Okay. Whoa. So, the first. Wow. Six, oh, six dur minutes in. Bad puppet! Uh, bad puppet! Dur 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 dur. That was. Dur 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 dur. Vertifurk? <laughs> so, today's Vertifurk is going to be. Uh, Yes, thank you. Uh, about a uh, an American Look Ford. It stop it! Well, can you oh, it's it not me. <laughs> <laughs> Ford exchange student 
that got stuck in a uh, sculpture in uh, another country in Germany. I saw that. Yes, it was the sculpture <laughs> of a vagina. According to the German newspapers, they got a call. So Thomas for Mannequin 3. They got a, so for the second time in his life. They got a call <laughs> yeah, from someone wow. stuck in a stone vulva. <laughs> to help. For the Sorry. second time in I've his life. I've been looking life. all over and I can't find it. 22 a firemen and five fire trucks were sent to the unnamed student record. Luckily, the man was unharmed and, and he was, uh, uh, let's see, uh, Oh, yeah, they actually said that they had to pull him out of the hidey hole. <laughs> was he I an American? Would, I would. And they did say the odds of reports that he labored to free himself from the <laughs> Yes, they actually said labor. I would pay to see them deploy the five-story yeah. ladder into that. Talk <laughs> <laughs> okay. about tell but, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My Virta Furk is not what, what Virta Furk, why are Americans always the ones who do this? No one else ever got stuck in it. My Virta Furk is, where are our vaginas Sculptures here in the U.S. What no. the hell? Fruit to fruit. I well, want a vagina sculpture out well, in front of an art gallery. Well, because more. you'll have people complain no. about no. your vagina sculpture in America. <laughs> but we do have a picture. It's pretty good where he's half stuck in this wow. crack in the... That's a, I we will definitely just, put that in the show notes. Is there a video notes. to this? That's a vagina. Okay. I, it's, it's, yeah, it's you convinced me, Kale. I'm not doing important. That just Don't get stuck in the giant vagina. You're right. You're right. Jeez. That's the word of the week. What? All right, today's word of the week from Urban Dictionary is noop. 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 What is it? Noop. Uh, well, that's what we have to discover. <laughs> this is where the voice is coming yeah. from. I'm sorry. Right here. What is it? What's a noop? <laughs> what is a noop, please? Please tell me what is a noop. <laughs> I would, like to go. I would think it's like a new something, like a new poop. A noop. It's no. when you have a new ah, poop. I like that. That's a new poop. And like that was Christopher Robin. <laughs> that's something else. Never mind. Oh, no, that's good. Uh, from a Chris, from a Winnie the Pooh book. New Where? terminology for a game player is a noop. Yeah, that's good. Wherever. Well, oh, I'm looking for the noob. <laughs> yeah, you're you're like the worst. Ah, wherever. This from one of the Winnie the Pooh books. Wherever Christopher Robin was, there was poo. <laughs> Christopher Robin loved poo. Okay, I'm what's a noob? Well, a, a noob is you know we don't get a you're at work. Okay, All right. Shout. No. When you when you use painkillers. All right, go. Okay, when you use painkillers. Yes. You're correct. No, a noop is when, uh, you know, Thank it's you. middle of the day, it's just yeah. after lunch, just after work and stuff, and you take a poop around noon. <laughs> oh! It's an after lunch or poop. An afternoon poop. It's a nice. real movement. Yeah, so, so like, I got a noop. You can catch me around 1 o'clock <laughs> for my noop. There's also the moop, which is your morning poop. <laughs> Well, is there a new? Is there a low about that? That's why you're taking a nap while you're. What, 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 what about the that? Would be hour? crap in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> is there a but it still be nooping. It's a nap. hey, John's a question, Paul. Middle of the night poop. What's that one called? Uh, middle of the night poop. That's it's called a middle of the noop. <laughs> That's like uncontrolled bowel movement. <laughs> IBS. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Diaper. Two minutes is too long for your section. Gotta get some of it to. Okay, yeah. we're done. Well, we're supposed to talk about it. Yeah, it smells like science. And why does it smell like science this week? Is because we're going to talk about an interesting new way of coloring. And what it is is Using they your they, ass. Oh. They've discovered a, not discovered, they have made a pen uh, called a that scribble. Goes in your, uh, no, never mind. It's called a scribble, Daryl. Scribble. And what you do is you take the back end of the pen and it, you Which put it over the color. <laughs> All right, you take the and back you end. you put it over a color. Over a okay. color. And then your pen mixes oh, color ink wow. and you can now draw in that color. That's like the that's what? like the dropper from Photoshop in real life. Well, like, I, think I want this color, dude. Exactly. You can do that's that thing like on the. But now you can do it outside of your computer. So it has like a photo sensor on it that goes like this well, is the color, like, and, color and, we'll and then the it will mix the. Can you color. do your nails that's like on Total cool. Recall? That's really cool. Like yeah. that lady on first yeah, Total yeah. Recall. But you can now yeah. color yeah, yeah. in whatever color you find. Now you can draw, and you can grow a third breast. And of course, they have a another version where you can do the same thing and then go onto your computer after you've 
chosen the color in real life and draw and now that color is on your exact computer. Red of my ink uh, refillable? Yeah, so it is. Stream. And it's hey, individual ink. Great, you, can, you can refill them. They're making it Perfect. so you can refill the ink rather right. than have to buy a whole new ink cartridge. There you go. There's the purple, baby. Purple in the Is this a prototype? I don't no, know. There, well, it's it's just about to be. Well, now it is a Kickstarter. It's a Kickstarter, right? Yeah. It's now it's now it. a Kickstarter, Can but I they've kick already started? done this. That's pretty awesome, though. Yeah, I like that idea. Huh. Yeah. How I much really, is it to I get do. on the Kickstarter? Yeah. Can I, um, get I will put a link to the page. And you know, do we get, get money that. if we put into the Kickstarter? Do we get money back? No, no. no. I gotta say, just, you will get one of the pens. Skeptical, really? skeptical Daryl speaking. But you have to pay like I think they said you're gonna have to pay like forty five bucks. You go to Home Depot and they do it for you. Well, I think um, color. color matching would be difficult uh, because right now it's Tech Talk! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tech Talk. Uh, 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 <laughs> so I'm going to talk about something that recently HP <laughs> made some breakthrough. Or they made some progress in the lab. Not saying this With is ink? on the verge. Color ink? No, not color ink. Meg Whitman. No. This is not on the... I love her chocolates. She's so one of those things that's probably still like five to ten years out or whatever, but they have been making breakthroughs and they are making plans for uh, just like every computers. other startup vagina sculptures <laughs> no, it's not a startup this is HP no, oh, they okay. have a big research lab in there. All right. but um, a it. long time there's been this idea about something called a memrister okay and memrister memrister oh m-e-m-r-i-s-t-e-r I'm sorry I actually m-e-m-r-i-s-t-e-r so what it is is it's a it's a you know you can put them on a chip or whatever but it's a small um, area of a chip that basically can remember when it's had a current run through it yeah and one of the things that makes it good is that it has really fast response times it's theoretically going to be inexpensive to create and unlike traditional RAM like memory we use now for like solid state devices um, and, and things like that. Basically, like solid state stuff is a little slower to react, so you can't really use it for main memory a lot of the time. You use it for mass storage, but not actual like um, working RAM on a system. And the working RAM on your system, which is very, very fast, uh, has to maintain power or else it loses all of its memory. That's why when you shut off a computer, all your stuff's gone and you have to reboot, right? Mm. So the idea behind memristors is that they'll kind of unify all computer memory. Like basically there will not need to be a separation between RAM and hard drive space. Oh, or, that's cool. Or oh, like even flash storage. So the thing is like this stuff's going to be so fast and so inexpensive, you might eventually get a computer that just has like a terabyte of memristor memory yeah. and nothing else. Is it so. kind of like though, I saw this, I think what you're talking about on the news with... Ding! With ding, about ding, ding, about with ding, 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 I thought it was like the HP printer scanner. Well, won't that cause a problem with and now you can't clear your RAM every time you turn off your computer? So whatever bad thing well, you're doing now is going to stay yeah. there? Well, if you wanted to simulate that, you the could NSA probably just do love it that. Yeah. Well, it's like clearing a hard drive. You know, like your hard drive is fairly permanent. So if you want to do a security clean of your drive, you can have it wipe all the free space. And then you, you know, don't have remnants of your old So like, what you're saying so is now that bad thing is going to be a reality. I don't well, kind of. <laughs> but the, the advantage, though, is that like you, know, you can is? you can go through a power failure, then your computer comes back on. It's in the same state it was before the power failure. So it's still f***ed up. Whoa! Wow! Oh, here we go. Hey. Oh, 1545. All right. Oh! You already broke that, These man. potty so. mouth people, I well, swear. Well, that yeah. was an accident. Yours seemed deliberate. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't it, though? There was even <laughs> a pause yeah. before the word. Yeah. It was all so silent. I think, I think we talked enough like, about memory. You pronounced it very well. <laughs> well, I think, but, I think and, what you're talking about is cool, the and that's what it? I saw in the news, and yeah. that's awesome. And it should eventually lead to much faster... Hey, he's right here! Yeah, look at me. Oh, yeah. Look much faster eyes. computers, and a lot more storage. Thank you! And then, okay. Okay, we're not making fun of retarded people, though, because that's wrong! No, no, we like you, Joe. Yeah, we're not... Oh. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we're not supposed to really say retarded. Oh, yeah, that's kind of mean, you yes. know what I mean? Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway. Okay, here we go. The subject today for what? Our first question is, what is flame? What? Yeah. 
good question. What is flame? It's plasma. It's flame. It's a chemical. No, seriously, what the hell is that stuff? It's a chemical reaction. What's the process? It's What's when the state? crap is thrown by trolls on forums. Yeah, flame. Bar. <laughs> That's a flame. What? Are yeah, you no kidding. This is an urban urban now? dictionary. Flamey. What? I thought that was hot, like a sexual thing. Flaming. You're well, flaming it's a, by the way, we'll probably. Territory. Term for we'll probably it, yeah. put in a link to the Alan Alda thing because there's there are a few really good videos that explain exactly. He's a funny a man, is. Alan Alda. So even if we don't get it right, which we probably won't, we can you know send people to the place where they can find out. Well, how do we know he got it right? He doesn't. It wasn't him. I don't know. I don't <laughs> well, know. See. Well, uh, so let's take let's take stabs at it. What what is the okay? Uh, fl- uh, flame is a chemical reaction, but I, I kind of like the idea of okay. how would you explain it to a child. You know, right. I like that idea because it's like, what is flame? It's he was specifically f- saying an eleven-year-old because they're old enough to get. Okay, oh, okay. You know I think I mean? the flame not, is not like a three-year-old. Where are you going? Like, it's hot stuff that burns. Well, I, yeah, yeah, so yeah you know, like I, not that guy, but that guy. Uh, I, I kind of think that Joe's onto something. I always, even though Ralph. it's not alive, I always like the idea. Ralph, yeah, I always like the idea. Here. Got a hanger. You gotta shave more often, dude. Yeah. I know it's been like three hours. Since you <laughs> yeah, I know. No I'm just saying, it's a temporary life. It, it needs certain things. A flame needs certain things to be a flame if, and spread on. And if it doesn't have it, it extinguishes. It's kind of like life. Well, what are those things? If it, it was a temporary life, let's, I, I like that analogy. Okay. And the Enterprise caught fire. Would they be restricted by the Prime Directive to just let it burn? Because they couldn't destroy hey, the hey. life. Hey, uh, Ralph. I'm not a Star Wars. <laughs> I'm not a Star Trek geek to get into Ralph, that. You, you know what? You're gonna start a You're war. You're pissing with... me off. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You want to get physical? Yeah. No, 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 no. I just shit a pencil. I just <laughs> shit a damn pencil. <laughs> I didn't know a puppet could do that. Can't change colors. I don't know. It's behind. I like. I like. I like his idea of flame being alive because I've thought of that before. But I think uh, it's more along the lines of it's a chemical reaction. It's it's something happening, and I think that's important. I want Ralph to say, "Hey, my eyes are up here, buddy." Hey, my eyes are up here, buddy. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, I like the chemical reaction that uh, produces heat and destroys. I like. What are the things necessary to make a fireworks? I like you need the fuel. Smell. Yeah, fuel. Right? You need oxygen. oxygen. Yeah, yeah. And you need pricks. Damn. Heat. Wait. Heat, dude. Yeah. I should know this. I just took <laughs> the office safety seminar at Cal Poly. <laughs> and that was right. the answer. That's no, right. they tell you how to stop the flame. No, no, it was no. They do. They did the oh, okay. triangle. Oh, yeah, okay. the, the triangle. triangle. Okay. You right. just I did know, it today. I know Daryl has been on these, but how about Fourth of July after fireworks? That smell. Yeah. That smell. I, I love the smell of. I love uh, the that palm smell. On the smell. Smells like. <laughs> I <laughs> swear, it's, the, it's so intoxicating. Why can't they make a cologne out of that? What? What? Just oh! rub it on you, dude. A flame is releasing energy. Also, oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, there. It's releasing. It's releasing the potential energy that was in whatever combustible it's, material it's you have. It's a form of energy, correct? Yeah, yeah and it's, it's something happening. It goes into yeah. something else. It's more, I think it's less of a thing as it is a process. process. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it is a process. It's yeah. stereo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the part that you're actually seeing as like the blue flame that's at the bottom, that's where um, the, the air molecules are excited. And that's, that's where the junk in the trunk is. From the, from the heat, they're, you know, excited. they're excited and they give off like a blue light. The actual air itself would be hot, but the it's not... Um, Incandescent. It's not sending out heat from there, um, but oh, it's sorry. a blue light. And then, oh damn okay. it! I, I like guess the we're fire. Well, tornadoes. The thing brother. is, if we link to the video, we don't really have to extend this because it. it explains it very well. What is space? It's big. The this final is frontier. Or on my keyboard. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, look. Oh, oh space. That's, that's, that's where the ast- That's where the astronauts hang out. Oh, the oh, space bar! Oh, the space bar! Oh, oh, I just killed myself. Uh, right. No, I, that's an interesting question because we're not just talking about space in the outer space, but we're talking about space within us because even matter is mostly space, right. correct? Dark matter. Is that what you want to concentrate on is what is space? Be- yeah, like, like like the absence of something being there okay. is kind of okay. like what space is. Well, if you is, listen so. to Michu Kaiku... There's a lot of stuff about. He's related space. to Michio Kaku. Yeah. <laughs> right. And, and he's Pikachu. talking about all the all the dark forces that we don't see. They're Michio actually Haiku. Things together. And and pulling it. And how, why is cousin. space going apart faster? Dude, he's faster. Deep. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's holding our galaxies together is gravity and forms, but I mean, we're this little dot in the Milky Way, and we go around, and we're going up and down, and we have cycles, and we're going to get to an extinction cycle soon to where we're probably going to get wiped out or on the verge of it. Some asteroid's going to come out of nowhere. I'm sorry. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, wait, 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 wait. Before he continues up, meet you, Haiku. Be able to you can explain the entire universe in five lines. Yeah. <laughs> seven, 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 seven. Okay, whatever. That's pretty good, though. <laughs> no, and that's he hits a lot of good points, too. I just don't remember any of them. Well, the thing is, what <laughs> That was actually good, but I was waiting to make my joke. In between so. things, it's... Actually, space is relative, obviously. I, and the I space love between... I think the I absence of space, matter between stars, objects. Planets. Perceived yeah. matter. Dark perceived matter. Well, perceived, yeah. Wormholes. I mean, I know there's stuff between holes. us. But I don't perceive okay, it. let's no, put it this other way. Is. Before the Big Bang, you know, if that's the theory we're going to go with, before space expanded, what was what was space expanding into? I think it's a, like if the universe is still expanding, what is space expanding it's, into? It's is a that cycle. Yeah. other space? I mean, if it's the absence of matter, then what would the not space space be? <laughs> Look, what? Somebody called up. Listen, what? What? All I want to know is how do you get the tent back in the tent bag the same way they got it in the first place? It doesn't work. Yo, dog, we we saw that you like space, so we made some space to put in your space so you can space while you're spacing. Well, I I think I think think of it like this way. You know, on uh, Windows. There's like, uh, what's that What's that art program that comes with Windows paint, called? Paint. paint. Right? You can make your little space area, and then yeah. beyond that, there's just, it doesn't exist. It's gray, but it's not more space, it just doesn't oh, exist. Oh, so there's a canvas surrounding. Yes, that's but, what they mm, call that area. The oh, what, what if there's just like, nothing? Nothing. Not even space, like you can't, it doesn't exist, so there's nothing there. But we define space as being nothing. No, space is the absence of matter, which is something. Somebody described it on well, if there was actually if there was actually <laughs> it hurts. If there was actually nothing there, why do we go back to Transformers? Yes, but it would not it would not even be black. There would we wouldn't be I, able to see I, no, beyond but even more. If there was nothing there, there would be no space there. Everything would be stuck together. No, there would be nothing. <laughs> There'd be so nothing. You couldn't even perceive what was there. Right. You couldn't see it. <laughs> like, you couldn't know it. I gotta yeah, tell you guys. What noise? What is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is what the, is that? This the is end of the world. Absence of silence. <laughs> I told Joe you. Joe is the end of the world. <laughs> Joe, I told you. I said it. What happened? <laughs> I said, okay. I said All right, next one. <laughs> well, I'm glad we're past that. You know what, though? I gotta say, I'm f***ing happy that this is being so difficult. It's great. Uh, uh, what is energy? <laughs> it's flames. <laughs> next topic. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> we gotta spend four minutes on this. Okay. Why, why not? Why can't we just move on? Fuck energy. It. Move on. Hey. Hey, not guys... Stop that. Oh. Energy is the liberation of matter. <laughs> You are free, my Mata. We liberate you. <laughs> I am energy. <laughs> Anyways, right, so we energy. Got, we got really silly with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I wanted to kind of define that there the is a scientific of definition. Atoms. Well, energy is like the ability to do work. What? You know, and then if you mm -hmm. define work really well as like you know kinetic energy oh, is the work oh, necessary to move something oh, from work point A to point B. Work meant like in a scientific meant. Right. Mm -hmm. And so what, one of the things I wanted to kind of dispel with this was talk about how, world. like, a lot of people say, like, I'm going to center my chi energy, but it's like, oh, what are chi. they talking oh, about? Your spiritual energy? Like, what your spiritual that? energy no, is what? Joey exactly. likes to say, I center my chi energy. Does your <laughs> spiritual energy <laughs> perform some kind of work? Yes. You know? Like, what? Yes. But since, like you were saying, energy no. is transferable to matter and vice versa, that, yeah, right. you're right. It is a different state of matter in a way. Even though a state refers to like solid, liquid, gas, whatever. Well, we're but, getting really philosophical. Well, there's room for that, well, but I think we're being more be scientific, the, actually. What's released when it changes state? Look, yeah. I've got to release when I have some energy. Part of the. Um, in like a nuclear reaction, part of the matter is obliterated and converted into energy, and that's what's released. Hey, yeah. what so energy could be a, a, a matter of a reaction of matter. Yeah. It's energy. Or a conversion of or a conversion matter, matter, too. Right. And when you get enough energy together, it becomes matter, too. Right. Well, yeah, right, energy right, right. is matter, matter is energy. It's just the, yeah. the scale is It's a off. different state, like you were saying. Yeah. 
It's Even though it's talking about it as a state is kind of it leads you in the wrong direction because you start thinking like a plasma or some yeah, state it, of it's matter. Not, it's not as It's, it's not a simple. matter state. It's a different It's a state form, of reality. Form of energy. But each little bit of matter holds like tremendous amounts of energy, right? Mm -hmm. Matter. And that's all relative or you can say That's why I'm saying ultimately uh, uh, everything is energy and matter is just enough collection of energy to uh, form matter. That's interesting. I like that. That's what I think of anyway. Uh, okay, so well, if anyone uh, from Caltech is listening, you can go. Yeah. All right, here's your <laughs> thought on energy. Because we're all kind of going. Is mm. life alive? And if life's alive, like how how far do we go on life in that energy aspect? Does ants, per se, they're alive? They have energy. They're moving. But you know, they're ants. You squish an ant, you don't feel bad about killing a damn ant. I do. I don't. I kill them all the time. They're in my damn room every day. <laughs> So, then yes. you're an asshole puppet. I am. A, <laughs> yes, I am. But oh, I little ragu. But I don't want to. I don't want to kill, say, a cat or a dog. I would feel bad. Well, if I did that's that. an emotional energy attachment. To <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right so why? Well, it depends. Know, okay, but Kale loves rats, and I. But I that's care less for rats. Animals have say. different emotional ties to people. <sighs> yes, but people won't that's eat horse because they're. Right? Hey, because hey, they, Joe. They don't go to Jack because the they don't like Ralph. the energy they get Ralph. from it. Yes, energy. I'm trying to keep yes. our energy. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. My energy is too much, right? I know. Because there's gonna be some <laughs> jockey at your door going, "Dude, you ate my ride." Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, but I think I, I I do like Kale's idea a lot that energy and matter being the same thing that everything's energy and it becomes matter. That's kind of a cool idea. I mean, I don't know the scientific idea behind it, but right. it, it fits in my mind. It has, right. it has, Glad we're past that one now. <laughs> I want to... Okay, this is one... Yeah, extending. Okay, Ralph, you're, right. you're extending? No, no. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Ralph, He's like, hell no. <laughs> Ralph, you might have a lot to say about this one. Uh, this is what, what are or what is... What are? What are drugs? What are drugs? Oh. Uh, what separate drugs from other things we put in our bodies, natural, artificial, recreational, incidental? Well, how far do you want to go and with drugs? Medicine. Because uh, Four minutes everybody's freaking caffeine addicts in the world. I mean, caffeine is the hugest drug pushed on everybody. Kids. And I love it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got energy drinks. But if you want to get into illicit drugs, you've got pot. That's a medical drug right now that's being persecuted. But then you have the harder drugs that are prescriptions. I think options. we're we're this talking about like, what is actually what are drugs dr though. No, what is what separates a drug from like a supplement or something right. some or natural herb food. that you take? Right, right, right. right. Yeah. How, how is drug different than like? There's kind of one of the right. fine line ones is like there's a debate that I think is pretty there's. There are a lot of people on each side of it. I think that the side, the more sciencey side, will basically say sugar is not a drug, but there are a lot of, you know, it other other drug. people who it's, say it's, to the it, contrary. It is a drug, including this Look guy. at look at diabetes. Well, the thing out of control in this. Well, the thing is, sugar diabetes. itself is not a drug, but it will right. cause chemical reactions, which are drugs. Yeah, you yeah, want right. more of it, especially when so you become like a FDA diabetic. Approval? When you're would told be you like can't the, have sugar, what makes a drug without like a drug? Sugar, I'm sure the FDA defines it. Like, all right, all right. Like a Two conversations at once. Sorry. And real quick, that when never Joseph, happens when, here. When, when Ralph started going to stop through once. the drugs, I thought he was going to go off like Bubba and Forrest Gump and name all the shrimp. And just, <laughs> <laughs> just out there. We got pot, we got cocaine, we got man, we got crack, we got meat crack, we got smoke crack. What I'm trying to get on the ground is you have caffeine, which is a legal drug. You have medical cannabis, which is like a somewhat legal drug. Then you have prescription Did we warp to the past here or what? Then you have prescription drugs. And you have prescription drugs like Oxycontin and morphine. So wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Is a drug considered something, I, as I would see it, something that influences your body or mind? Thanks for making this about the definition. You know, <laughs> that really is great. Um, <laughs> it influence. Well, that's the whole idea. Of the, the whole yeah. Because uh, that's what we do. We, yeah, we talk about the definition. About, that's yeah. why this is awesome. <laughs> that's why this is awesome. Okay. It's about the, the, the definers. <laughs> no, no let Joey talk. Come Don't, on. Just thank find you. Your universe. <laughs> It affects the body or the ah! No, it's not me. <laughs> He's I mean, he. Ah! Oh, of course. It affects the body or the mind right. in a way that does not uh, <laughs> contribute to a natural uh, state baseline state. Yeah, I think baseline, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It'll take someone well, out of the normal baseline. No, because right. a Twinkie does Yo, that. Right. Did you did that's why I would say that. 
That's why it's kind of a tough McShakes. definition. Well, yeah. That, yeah, because everything you eat causes a chemical reaction which right. which activates uh, portions in your brain which secrete well, drugs into your mind to make you feel and think different and things. And the things we get broken down into different chemicals, some right. of which have a drug effect. So, so oh, wait, there, everything is... We have the whole definition thing where there's So it's illegal drugs. Well, hold on. There's obviously a scientific... Ver, a scientific uh, definition of drugs. Up, no, by the way. illegal drugs, you, you get... But then, you, then you've got... There. Why is his mouth not moving? He's a ventriloquist. <laughs> it's not for Daryl. It's not for Daryl to <laughs> yeah. wait for him to talk. <laughs> okay, what we need to do is build a hey, some wait, kind wait, of... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> drink while talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... Hey, you need to... You so know where don't be. Drugs! Drugs! I'm your wannabe host. Yeah, you need to listen so. to me. Listen. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. See? Yeah. Okay. You took a drug. Go ahead, Joe. Okay. All right! Extend because you guys are all no bitches. googling during the show. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. So drugs. What what I'm saying is there's a medical definition of drugs, which right. is like you were saying in the body. There's there's drugs that happen, chemical reaction. You we're not that? showing that. Okay. Thanks, Mister. Right. Then we there is also drugs, which we could say is more of a uh, something that affects the body. Like I said, affects you from your normal baseline, right. which you could say is sugar in a sense. One but food these. affects you too. So I gotta finish drugs this. from a normal. Okay. From a normal right. state, like you take food to keep you at a certain you need food drug to level. Survive. <laughs> That's drug, not yeah. a drug. Right. I think you had the right key though. Baseline. I don't think food. Yeah, baseline. Drug. If you don't you need abuse your food intake, you will stay at your regular baseline. Right. However, you can have a small amount of a, something that's a drug that can throw you way off baseline. Uh, yeah. And like all our definitions, I think... Or like, foods usually aren't a small amount. Uh, like, right. you have to overdo it. Like, yeah. you, gluttony, you have to, like, way over anything, eat. anything, anything, too much oxygen can kill you. Of well, course. then we're getting into... into, no, into okay. Okay. Drugs. So, we're getting into over... Point just going to it, What do you think of this broad term? Okay, a drug, a, a drug in the broadest terms is a chemical substance that has known biological effects on humans or animals. Foods are generally excluded from this definition in spite of their physiological effect on animal species. Mm, the pharma ah, right. pharm uh, pharmacology drug, pharmacy, are ch chemical substance used in the treatment, ah. cure, prevention, and diagnosis of disease or used to enhance <laughs> oh, physical that was that 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 And then we go to <laughs> recreational drugs. Drug, drug, so drug, right. Chemical substance that affect the central nervous system. Okay, oh, good, <laughs> okay. Okay. That's true because even Michikaku was saying in the mind book, Michikaku. Thank you, Haiku. Yeah, was saying. A poem this wait, long. Was say, no, it's Kaku. Kaku. Uh, it was saying that there there are only like three kinds of actual drugs, recreational drugs. They, there's the you know the, mm -hmm. the and then there's a, and then there's. A, okay, well, look at look at cannabis. Nope. All right. All right. It's not. Bell. Unless you want to expand. I can extend. Wait, did he extend? Wait, no, you, you had your extend. Yeah, You're done, dude. Uh, yeah. That's why we save our extend. He can extend no more. <laughs> Anybody want to extend for Joe's cannabis? No. 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 <laughs> I don't want to extend. Screw you all. All right. No. All, right. all right. So what I is... I can beat you up, man. Try it. <laughs> hey, we're past. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't hurt. Oh, okay. I'm on drugs, remember? <laughs> so, you're, <laughs> so you're perfectly fine? Yeah. All right. Yeah. What is art? What is art? What is art? I dare you. Right here. Come on. Oh, oh, damn. Damn. Joe, what the hell, Sam, man? What are you doing, you, you freak? You, you forced oh my, my hand. God. Yeah. You forced my yeah. hand. Freaking. That's what happened. Word forced for word. my hand. Okay, what is art? Fireworks. Yeah, we can, be, can it be commercial, just, uh, arts, place, and history? Paint. Actually, Graffiti. he's got a good point. Fireworks, that's art. Yes, I am an artist. Yeah, well, weird. okay, we, we talked about things um, from a medical perspective. I, I think we, we would say something that has an aesthetic to it. You know, I guess everything has us. We were all artists when we made our own film. Yeah, there's. We're doing art right now on this camera. That's, that's right. right. This is an artistic art. podcast. There and, you go. and and you know, this is really the definition. You know, I didn't think about it until you guys said it, but this is the definition. Uh, podcast where we're this is performance art. Yeah, I'm a. <laughs> I'm a. Sorry, I'm a damn puppet. Well, oh. you were about to say something correct. I don't know what it was, but <laughs> okay. I decided that each episode you, we need to take turns on doing the puppet because this is. <laughs> Why don't you just give me a damn camera and I'll do my own damn puppet? I'm trying already to figure out how to do that. Rip the fur. Okay, creative. Anything creative where you take things from the outside world, put them together in your head, and then create something, whether it be music. Something that's yes, audible, extra. like music, or mm -hmm. uh, something, or poetry, like a haiku, <laughs> mm. or uh, something you see visual, visually. I think any, yeah, anything. Or combined. Anything you create. Mm -hmm. It could even be a baby. 
can be a poop. Woman yeah. creates a baby. I was going to go poop. It could be a noop. But I agree. Art can be poop. Wait, wait, hold on. I kind of disagree with that, though. Because can you call it art if it's not... Yeah, you can call any boy baby art. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> can you, call, <laughs> art it, can you call it art if you are not um, involved in the artistic process on a conscious level? Like oh, I gosh, like I'm like uh, like someone makes a baby. It's like oh I made a baby. Uh, green eyes. I don't know. I think you could maybe so, accidentally produce art because uh, this is the thing I was going to say that differentiates this subject from the other ones. Produced. Like Mary on a piece of toast. <laughs> this is this subject is way more subjective <laughs> than the other ones. Like the, the other ones were talking about objective things like what is energy, what is space, but like. Art is so subjective, everyone's going to have a different definition of it. Yeah. And so, there's going to be a gradient. Like, some things I'll consider, like, borderline art. Like, you know, fine art in a museum is, like, a high form of art. Uh-huh. And then I still appreciate commercial art. Like, you can sometimes see, like, a, an ad in something. And you go, like, wow, that's a really nice layout. Really good photograph. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's art. That's ice swimsuit. It's not high art. But it's I, still art. I so it's this kind of like gradient down downward until you get to like a podcast where it's like, I like I said, a conscious art creativity. Art to them. Conscious creativity. You know, like a, you're, you're consciously creating something. Right. Well, nature but creates again, art all the time because Frank. if you look at some panoramic view, a lot of places you can look and go, that's art. And yet it was created by nature. But, but, is, is, it, but is nature the art or the picture that's being about, taken? That's no, no, no. You, you, even if you're just standing there looking at it, you can yeah. say that's art. Yeah, right. it's your interpretation of what But that's doing. why I'm saying it's so ooh, hard to define ooh, what it ooh, would the thing about maybe, intent, art, maybe art is not so much external, but it's internal. Where you feel art. Whatever you make the decision what yeah, art is. Exactly, like, and that's why I don't think I it's the creator. Because look at the diary of Anne Frank. Was she intending to create art? That was her diary. Extension, anybody? And now sure. it's a piece of Okay, we got an extension, yeah. excellent. Look at the stars in the sky. Because, uh, yeah, I think that's a good point. I think you can, let's put it this yeah, way. Looking at the Milky Way, that looks like art. That's awesome. Dude, let's, I love Milky Ways. <laughs> <laughs> Those are good, too. Let's let's put it this way. That sugar in a drug. As, as an <laughs> artist, you can... Hard. As an artist, you can attempt to create art, yeah. But then whether it's art or not, it depends upon the viewer. Right. Okay. So you could create something and you can say that's not art, or and you might say it is, and then someone else might say it's okay. not. And your art trash is somebody else's art. treasure. Here's your question Here's your. for your art. Then, what the Nazis did was terrible. Yes, but some would view that as art. What? Yeah, some sick twisted <laughs> people. I'm telling you, that's what somebody would interpret as art. It's I know, how? I know, we include that Nazis very, very in every freaking podcast, but I don't like that no, one. No, no, that's terrible. What they did was actually, atrocious. actually, it was genocide. The, the the truth is, is as wacko as that is, dude. Uh, he's kind of right. Art can they can, show can it be to twisted. Us on the damn history. We don't, we don't have to say Nazis. We could say something else, like yeah. you know, um, yeah, maple this not, this maple forks piss. Okay. Christ would have would not the be Romans, considered art by a whole Turks. lot of people. But there are there's a lot of art that is considered very uh, avant garde. Yes, and we'll show that in the show notes. Risque, risque, and and some people consider it art where others will just consider it disgusting. So it does depend. I mean, there are some psychopaths who would look at the horrible acts of history and look at it as art because yeah. that's that's mm-hmm. just what we said. Yeah. Art Muggles is dead bodies. Well, the Joker and all did that. say that he committed homicide until it was art. Oh, right. so yeah. how about the comedian mm-hmm. from Watchmen? Because mm-hmm. that was his thing. Like he was. Oh, that's he right. Got yeah. the joke. And his yeah. mask kept changing. World. Warshak, right? That's Warshak. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Warshak. Warshak's mask kept changing. Right. That was awesome. Warshak. That is that's art. art. Yeah. That's that art. was art. Yes. That's art. Actually, the Watchmen is a great example of art because you've got the view of it from the graphic novel, and then they bring it to the the big screen. And <laughs> Dang! Uh, Darts are done. All right. Here's th- this. Should be easy. This should be not a problem. What is time? It's uh, uh, it, four it, minutes. You, until the <laughs> <Yeah. show. laughs> uh, you know what, what is it? Is the, the, to humans. The, the, why, the, okay, wait. The, 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 why would you think this is easy? I was no. being facetious. Oh, 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 oh I did missed not that. catch that. that. Was okay. Timely. Yes. Right. Um, so what I was saying is that there's somebody who says uh, about time that. If I'm not thinking about it, I know exactly what it is. But as soon as I try to define it, I have no clue. And that's kind of what time is. It's like you're like, oh, time. It's easy. It's, uh, it's like I don't know what porn is, yeah. but when I see it, I know. No, I know what it is beforehand. That's why it, I it's uh, it, it, it's it's kind of a um, a publication that is kind of broad. No, no, no. We're not doing what is porn. Di- no time. <laughs> It's a publication. It's a publication. <laughs> Time Magazine. Well, I met- oh. <laughs> uh, 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 
went into the bar. Uh, we all. Oh, there we we went. Went. I had that right away. Oh, I was with Paul. I, got I knew it. where he was going. You yeah. got it. Went over your head. Yeah. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the man? Yeah. A lot of times, time I think that it, time is a creation of man. That well, it really wealth. doesn't exist. Only we <laughs> bring it into reality. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's our need, measure of We need time the to survive. Future. We need sure intervals of, of, of change. change. Okay, yeah, and, that, and that's what it is. Is, is I've, thought, I've thought about this. Like, Can you have time if you have only one piece of matter? Dude. Sorry. Think about I it. I think it's, so, because it can move through space. No, I just say. But how would you? Okay, but how would you measure it? Measure it. You got a can. And if you couldn't measure it, does it exist? I don't yeah. think that uh, that's kind of arbitrary though. Like whether or not you can measure it, if it's moving, it's moving through time. But that's the but that's the idea is that if you have you don't have a point no, no, of reference, right? Which right. means you don't even know that it's moving. So actually, my thought but is you see the, the the whole thing is kind of. Um, so let me back up. Well, the point is kind of moot because <laughs> you have to have another piece of matter to right. make the measurement. Right. Right. Let me back up so, then. Okay. Without movement. Can you have time? <laughs> oh, I upgraded to this. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> without movement, can you have time? And I don't think you can. Time without time movement. Still. We made time well, I, for I, us. That's what I'm saying. It's, I, I kind of think in a way that time might just be a measurement. It has to be because, look, what if an alien came down and, and you said you, you were trying to tell time to an alien? Oh, and an alien's not going to know what the hell you're talking about. Because well, an alien who got is, here would probably understand. Probably no. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, but they would define it in different they well, increments. In a different you, way than the us. thing is, if you listen to Einstein, he, the definition, oh, it's not yeah, time. Yeah. It is space time, meaning yeah. space expanding created time. And the funny right, thing right. about time is that Which, the way sure you I measure time with. has these analogies that are exactly the same as the way you measure space. Right. So in a way... Oh. So in a way, it's it, it's almost as if it is the exact same thing. Wow. Not so much that they're separate at all. It's just right. that that's it, why we call it space, and that's why it's the idea right. of the fourth dimension. And and then maybe it is another dimension that we're moving through at a constant wow. rate, which is why we perceive it in that way. How many dimensions are there possibly? Are there nine? I 10, think eleven is 11. what they're eleven saying. is yeah. the standard were, model. Yeah, there are a lot more than that now. Um, yeah, actually, I did hear something according more. with the standard model. Yeah. All right. They found some. They, anyway, <clears throat> they just keep going. And well, the thing is, is You're that now with the, well, never mind, because I'm gonna talk about that. Go ahead. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the the I yeah, think I like the while. idea that time. I like the <laughs> idea that time is space. Yeah. It's the dimension of space that we cannot perceive, and we're moving through it. You see, that's why I kind of think it's different from space because space has a distance to it that we can navigate. Right. But time is. As far as we know, unnavigatable except for exploring large. See, and that's one of the. That's am, one I, of the am I extended yet? No. I'm extending. Like, okay. That's Thank exactly you. why I have a trouble. A trouble. A trouble with tribbles. No. It's why I have trouble with space that. time We're being one thing. Well, I like exactly why. Well, here's my thing on it. And I, uh, this is this is the way I thought of it before. Is that in space we can navigate through space, mm -hmm. but to us, it's. It seems like a lot, but in the reality of the universe, it's negligible. Our, our traversing through space is nothing because the Earth is moving and around the sun, the sun's moving around the galaxy at speeds that are tremendous so that our movement mm -hmm. is basically it's nothing. to ourselves. Yeah, it's relative to ourselves. So mm -hmm. maybe it's the same with time, where we're traveling through time at this constant rate, the same way we're traveling through space at this constant rate, but we don't notice the changes and maybe we do have some sort of ability to navigate through it, but it's so small and infinitesimal. Uh, and because we can't directly perceive it, we don't see the changes. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. But I, I get what you're but saying. But I mean, though. when we look at things like atomic clocks, they are so precise that we basically see a constance there. You know. So I, I think that time is pretty much proven to be a constant. We can't necessarily could be, but I still kind of think it's because we're moving through space. I, I kind of feel well, like if you stop the movement, you stop time. After they did the atomic clocks on the plane and uh, and on Earth, and then later in space and on Earth, what you've complained about this before? Yes, I have. Yeah, it's I not, have. I don't think it's a good argument. It's not healthy. It's not. Go, go for it. No, I'm just saying <laughs> that I'm saying. By all means. Actually, I was saying the opposite, which is Hollywood. that what they, they, the scientific community. You know, had one clock going to space and one here on Earth, and right. they ran it around the Earth, and they came back, and the time was different. Yeah. And that was enforcing the standard model, which is space-time is 
connected. Right. Which, like I said, I do have explanations for that, but we already talked about that. Dang, Pfizer. Right. Okay, this is my Dang. what. Joey's what? My what is. What is what? <laughs> what? No. Joey? My what is what is worth living for and what is worth dying for. Oh, that's tough. God yeah. and country. No. What is worth Town living and for country. and what, what is, is worth, worth dying for. That's really hmm. tough. That's a tough decision. Cause that's a different kind Go of Go ahead. You thought of it. Start, Joey. Yeah. Well, I think for me that what is worth living for. Well, I'll start with what is worth dying for because there's not a lot. Some people would be patriotic and say, you know, their country and everything. I'm not religious. I'm not overly patriotic. But I would say family and friends. Mm -hmm. More oh, I mean, sorry, guys. More fa <laughs> more family than friends. Sorry. But well, it's all right. it depends on the situation also. Just figure out if we would die for you, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, it's more along the lines of you're doing something stupid. But yeah, right. I no, would die yourself. going on my 4th of July show. If it blew up, I would be okay with that. Well, you better be because there's nothing you can do about why it. Are, oh, why sorry. Why is your mouth <laughs> Wait, better be. Um, I, if what is worth living for, I think Everything. whatever you give meaning to Everything is worth is living worth for. And for. that's why I, I have a big issue with people who, and we all do it, and I do it too, but who say, well, that's stupid. Why do you spend your time on that? Like, well, scientists, you should be trying to figure this stuff out instead of your stupid pet projects or whatever. Like, they made a hitchhiking robot, and I heard on the radio, the lady's like, well, that's stupid. They should be trying to cure cancer. They are trying. They are to trying to cure. Yeah, right. not that's completely the wrong science area. But it doesn't matter. It's like this is what it has meaning for these people. Right. And when you're saying, "Well, that's stupid. They should be doing something else." Well, that's just because it doesn't have meaning. Yeah, what well, do you judge? The person who judged them should not be watching the TV. Right. With their time. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so <laughs> and I think I think worth, what's for? worth living for is whatever you give meaning to that has. Yeah. Worth. We shouldn't be recording this podcast. But, you know, we should be some, curing cancer. But there's some <laughs> that. You don't want to cure cancer because it'll make the pharmaceutical industry go out of business. Oh, they're never going to go out of business. They got too yeah. many freaking lobbies. <laughs> Joe, what's worth dying for? You're right. I mean, Joe, what's worth dying for? Ralph! Dude, if you've found the cure to cancer, it's Nobel Peace Prize time, and it's if like, you make so much money on that, I don't think that's a you to the road. You don't think that, that they'd you be... you could possibly <sighs> die, and case in point, if you need some examples... People who do extreme sports, like jumping out of the damn airplane, or base jumping, or... Oh, you know, no, he died. You know, but like, it was worth what running I, for. But what I do, also, I handle explosives. Now, yet yeah, granted, I handle them in a safe manner, but once the explosive part of the there fireworks is goes no. off, there is no... There is, there is no predictability of what that's going to happen. It's explosive at that point. It's supposed to go up <laughs> in the air and go boom. But it could go boom in a gun, and I'm ten feet away from that. What is living and dying for you, so, Paul? So, well, worth <laughs> living is segment. is creating. Uh, it's to me worth living is creating a better environment for my family and friends. So, yeah. it's always worth living if it if it makes for like a better life for my children. Yeah. So. Nice. Worth dying, of course, my kids. Unless they're screwing up or something, and like they're mass murderers or something, then I, I may have to, I may have to draw the line. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I mean, as much as people say I, anything for my kids, but if he's out there and it's like Richard Ramirez or something, wow, Night Stalker. That's eighties, right? Yeah, man, yeah. local, you know local here, oh, local. Good. All right, Kale, go. Um, what is di worth dying for? I would say the whole of humanity is worth dying for. <laughs> <laughs> Which hole? <laughs> The whole of humanity. Wow. Wow. Uh, stay away from that. <laughs> Pretty dirty. And what is living for is making the world a better place for the humans Dang. that perceive. Why don't you extend? I guess I don't get one. Just okay, I'll it, extend. bro. Do you want to finish what you were saying? Since I got cut off, I'll extend, all right? You okay. can save yours. Okay. Okay. Is, and, you know, what living is worth living for is creating something worthwhile to pass on to the future generations of humanity. I don't like that. Like a 10,000 year clock. Yeah, that's yeah, worth yeah. it. That's cool. Or a noop. And all the holes I'm talking about, Paul. <laughs> all of them. So yes. it might sound kind <laughs> the of... The glory! The but A! I, what you doing but I think you're... Um, Give you kick <laughs> I'm going to agree with everyone and say that, you know, in addition to living for each other, other people and everything, also live for yourself. Because, you know, like that sounds selfish, but it's like, if you... If you are taken care of, you're much better prepared to take care of everyone else, you know. So the thing Very is, true. you know, 
be good to yourself. That's worth the uh, living for the experience of it all because I. And what and things are worth dying for, you know, your family, your friends. Uh, depends how close the friends are. You your know. passion, your hobby, maybe. Yeah, yeah, the things that you're I, I uh, other things like you're passionate about. La, and, la, maybe I wouldn't die la, for la, each la, one of you, but la, la, collectively I would. <laughs> if there's all of you, I would. Not not <laughs> just one of your holes. Just but one all of you, you yeah. can die, but all of you, yeah, I'll you die. jump in front of the Thanks. out of control trolley. Yeah. <laughs> Ralph, could you just all of a sudden say, Paul, what the hell happened to your leg? Ready to go. Paul, what the hell happened to your leg? I don't remember. I think that's still a softball injury. Oh, that's so painful. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sorry you drugs. have softballs. I remember yet. I could give you some drugs to take care of the pain. It doesn't hurt. It itches every once in a while. Would you like some you're more than like, to you're more than happy to scratch what is, it if you want to. What is, what is, what is that voice? Yeah. What is he that? rubs the lotion on his body <laughs> and puts it in the basket. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> So I think I've had terrible much. Oh, forget it. You already got yeah. most of what you wanted in, right? Well, yeah. I right. live for Just the like bell. you in the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Paul, what? What? What of the week? To you, what is your reality? Ooh. Oh, nice. To you. Oh. What is Okay, what is, mine? Could I you? might have to change mine because it's too close to that. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. But that's okay. I could change it. It's okay. No, no, no. No, Mine is... is... What whore are you really talking about? <laughs> <laughs> my reality... I'd my most likely <laughs> leave, like to save the female whore. Okay, <laughs> guys, there are five of us. You, you said, you said mostly. It's all. Okay. Okay. Right. My reality so kind of, is... Like about they want to be hosts. Take control of the show. <laughs> oh, that's right. So, <laughs> my, my reality is a mixture of my attempt to control reality in my image. Wait, no, that's not quite right. Um, is Ooh, to God complex. Yes, definitely. <laughs> uh, no, to find my path in life. And, and, and it's mixed with this utter confusion and chaos of the world around me. Damn. Yeah, it's going to suck Whoa. sometimes. I do better on drugs. What is drugs? Hey, okay. <laughs> <No. laughs> <Go ahead, Kale. laughs> What are drugs? He's next. Okay. Sure. Go. Oh, we're jumping over me already? Right? Okay. Oh, because he gets the you answer always get last. cut off. Right. Oh, why did I feel first time? Oh, it's just a natural left to... You're the host. One Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Repeat your question, please. What is your reality? What is reality? Okay. To you. My reality is this. Episode three. <laughs> My I wasn't reality here for that is what... Is that? I'm involved with. If I have uh, a signi- if I have a connection to it, it is part of my reality. I like that. I want to mm-hmm. change my mind to that. It sounds much better. <laughs> uh, Daryl, um, I think my reality is is just the experience that I have. Like it's my consciousness and the way that I perceive the world. I know that everything that comes in through my senses is modified and put through filters, and it's compared to my existing biases. But that's really what my reality is. Like I. Uh, I feel comfortable exploring things because I don't mind modifying my, my reality if I'm pretty far off. But I I know that what I think is reality is not accurate to what's really out there. You know, I I try to get close, but you know, everyone's off. Um. Yeah, I like I like how you're saying about the experiences because it, there really is a disconnect, at least for me, to where. You know, I see something on TV, and you see people, like, dying in the streets. There's the war mm. and stuff. And you see dead bodies, and you're like, eh, no, that sucks. I mean, it sucks, but it's like, I move on. I go to McDonald's, get my Happy Meal, and move on. Right. But when it's, like, someone you know or yeah. something within, mm-hmm. like, your 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 reality, your circle yeah. of reality and stuff, it's devastating. Yeah. So it's a totally different type of, of reality. It's a world of a whole. It's like, it's just <laughs> what's around you. Man. The whole humanity. <laughs> I think we're talking about different things because I was saying more literally about like what I consider to be the real, but you're talking about like your re- your response to response. and that's okay. that's the real a good world. that's yeah. a different way of looking. That's good, yeah. Joe. What about you? I mean, Ralph. Uh, you guys, <laughs> I was gonna say I already I don't said don't have it. enough time to explain what you just want me to explain, so I agree with all of you. How about that? That's, that's all you have? Uh, uh, look, it's that, no mind altering reality. It's too deep of a question. That's that's a that's like a freaking pull podcast. It episode. was. No. Did you say freaking pull pot? Uh, move on. Next. Pull pot. <laughs> pull pot. <laughs> I agree with all of you. Yes. He wasn't much part of my reality, really. Next question. Uh, after the ding, let's ding. stop the cameras. Is it, um, is it gonna? So we're getting break. close to the. Wait, uh, I, I like his because you know what I found that. My reality is whatever's at the moment for me. It's very hard. That's why I'm always sure. in chaos. It's because I'm trying to look beyond to try and form my reality, and it's always just what's here. Right. And that's what makes it difficult for me is I'm always 
It's good, but it's also I bad. Think that is a big part of my um, personality is that I, try, I do try to enjoy the moment. You know. All right. Yeah. All right, Kale, you're what the hell, yo? <laughs> I want to know what is the significance of the Higgs boson now that <sighs> we've proved that it's real. I thought I was smart until you asked this. <laughs> okay, this is good. What? I think we should not ask well, what is the significance of the Higgs boson. We should ask what is the Higgs boson. What is it to you? <laughs> it's what cool is the Higgs boson <laughs> that they found out this thing I don't know too much about. Okay, why don't you give us what, what it is to you well, first? Wait, go, I can Darryl, take a ahead. shot at it because it. it has to do with um, it, it's a particle it, that imbues mass to matter. So to speak. that's my understanding of what its importance is. That, and because that's, that's the main once thing. Once it's well yeah. understood, we can track back um, some echoes to the Big Bang. Like we, we're able to look at EMF energy that exists as a reverberation from the Big Bang, yeah. and understanding the Higgs boson better allows us to understand what that information means yeah. in terms of working back in time to the point where everything was the singularity. Right, and that, like I said, I, I was just saying that we... You uh, didn't correct me. <laughs> I got lucky. The significance <laughs> of the Higgs boson is what I wanted to talk about, but now that oh, we, know, okay. but now that we right. know what the Higgs boson know is... The Higgs boson. Right. Okay, the thing is, Daryl is correct in, the, in that it is... Now that we... Because it is there where we thought it was, right. we now know that is what gives uh, particles mass. Hmm. So, so the significance it, to me the main is, significance is it we now know what causes mass. So to yeah. me it's I'm grateful that I have mass. And <laughs> is it mass on Sunday in Catholic churches? Uh, Sometimes they would Saturday they would too. disagree with that, I'm sure. <laughs> Just on principle that it had I anything think, to do with God. Well I think well, the I, Big Bang was a great catechism. I saw that movie. <laughs> anyway. Uh the um I think I mean, I, for me, I don't know too much about what it is. Like, even what you guys just said, I don't know what the hell you're talking about for the most part. But, um, Neither I, do we. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> but I know it's important, and I know it proves some of Einstein's theories, which um, is important to me because it's, it's moving the science of physics forward, which is allowing us to see what reality is and how reality works and how to better manipulate reality, which yeah, I think is in in, in that vein, it is that it uh, reinforces the standard model of physics. Right. Yes, it's which, monumental. You know cool which, about the whole thing? So on. it makes reality more what we okay, think it is. The coolest thing I thought out of the whole entire thing was the people that said, oh my God, if you turn that thing on, we're going to blow up the Earth. And the Earth is still here. You know, it reminded or me. Or is it? It reminded oh. me of the, the story to the original Half Life. Well, my thing. reality is. No. Yeah, they're doing an experiment at Black Mesa, then all of a yeah. sudden, like another dimension pops in, and they're aliens. I knew that wasn't going to happen, but these people are crazy. They think it's always going to happen. So it well, happen. even even people in the know had some theories that there was this infinitesimal chance that things could go wrong. Yeah, and it was like it was like okay, it was like a one in a billion shot that we do actually destroy the universe. Yeah, it's and like we took that it could happen. Yeah. Ghostbusters. We took yeah, that risk with nuclear weapons when we tested the Manhattan Project. Yeah, because our whole atmosphere could have gone up yeah, like those aliens in uh, Earth. Battlefield Earth. It could have been you know? a one-shot boom. We didn't know. Was that what the Manhattan brought? I thought it was about clam chowder. Oh, well, yeah. that Well, it's it's not as good as New England clam chowder. I agree. But there is I a agree. Manhattan clam chowder. Yeah. It's not right. as good. I agree. Right. I, I don't know. The red, but the that red had nothing to do different. with the Higgs boson or nuclear weapons. What the hell? What? <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. So the boson was important because it, it advances the science, and I, I'm a little unclear about exactly Dang. where to go from there. Oh, it's my turn. turn. My what? What? I don't what? think what? I'm going to extend that one. But, uh, what? Okay, what? my what? But. I'm, I'm changing it a little to make it not too similar to Paul's. Right, 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 right. But my what is, what is memory? Memory. Memory is us. Energy. It's energy. Like, without memory, we wouldn't even know what the hell's going on. But you it, lose no, that's your mind. Right. What about memory is reality. With, uh, out, my, my, I'm losing my mind. It's our reality. No, it's, the puppet's losing his mind. I yeah. am literally losing my mind. My mom's, my mom's lost her there. mind. Hello. What are you doing? Oh, man. <laughs> are you eating the ticks off of him? I'm not the <laughs> right, For to the me. audio listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, to, never mind. To me, uh, memory it. is the retrieval of the thoughts of your mind. 
Okay. Uh, memory for me. Uh, yeah. It, it actually memory or on my computer. <laughs> right. Memory actually allows you to create the model of the world around you. Without memory, you would have no way of put, giving not only meaning mm. but also. Uh, Creating the like definite. So everything's in the context. The storage of thoughts. Yeah, it gives everything's context. in context. Context. Ah, so good. Yeah. You. Yeah, because if you were living strictly in the moment, you would be like this flowing consciousness mm -hmm. that just has no idea about what just happened. It's like almost like an insect. Right? Yeah. This oh. Well, well the other that, thing yeah. too is that poop, I think like poop, poop. I, my first question was going to be what is experience, but I think that was too close to what is your reality, right? But experience and memory are these intertwined things. And mm -hmm. what's kind of weird to think about is that... Um, no liquid. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, no. Get that out of here. But but that... <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> you're blocking the light! Oh, Sideshow. You're blocking the light even though you're here. <laughs> <laughs> so the the deal with... Um, I just lost my train of thought. Thank you. Welcome to Some the... Experience. Experience. Yeah, memory, you lost memory your memory. Yeah. <laughs> you okay, lost no, no. the electrical neuron reaction we inside about that's time, holding right? on. So you've got the... What's the name of the, um, the structure of your brain? It's the... Um, there's a name... Your wrinkles? A for it. Just um, the physical structure of your brain is what makes your thoughts happen, right? Mm -hmm. But then, if you think about it, though, right now is so right now yeah. that when you're forming thoughts... You, you're like mid thought all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So your only actual thoughts and your only actual existence of consciousness is a memory. Yeah. Well, and that's the idea. So it's kind of weird. Well, you know? the, the idea is also that we're actually behind what's going on in, in our experience. Like I think right. it's like 15 seconds or something like that. Maybe it's not that much, well, but it was it was a lot. Yeah. Where actually we're experiencing things beyond. Uh, Outside, so so we think we're in the moment. Right. We're actually a little behind the moment, and so we, in a way, we are just living in our memories. Or yeah, yeah. And, and, and if we were just a flow of consciousness, we wouldn't under what he said context. We, right. Nothing would have context around here. It would just be like a blur. Babies can't see things because their brain has not yet had the like. When you look at the corner of a room, we see it as part of a square, but that's not how our eyes really see it. It's our brain saying that's part of a cube, and you're inside of a room right. because you pay attention to the shading. And the memory yeah. comes back. You have and to say, develop well, enough context mm -hmm. to make sense of it. Though. Right. Otherwise, it would just be a blur of colors and lights, and nothing would make sense. Well, what I think is right? really interesting about memory is that every time you think of something and then restore it into memory, it changes. Right. So your memory is different every time you have a memory or yeah, think about a memory. That's part of why memory is unreliable. Because right, you, exactly. You recall a story to someone, yeah. and as you're recalling it, you're actually re recreating it, creating yeah, yeah the and story. I think memory too could also because you didn't tell it the way they remember it. Right, and then you're like, no, that's and you're convinced. Ding. You can just, I think it was good enough. Good. Yeah. All right, last of the Watts. Universal what? Wow. What? Universal Studios. <laughs> it's the movies. Oh, it's not me, damn it. All right. Uh, what is the universe? What is the lack of universe? Time, space. It's kind of bringing it all Humanity's together. butthole. <laughs> like, if we want to think about the, you know, if we want to believe in the Big Bang, you know, was there another universe before ours that banged and collapsed? And Well, in a, in a philosophy... The whole of humanity that got banged and collapsed? And... <laughs> Uh, in the whole philosophy sense, I mean, the universe is everything that we exists. You guys are getting a little too friendly. <laughs> it's a keep me in the shot. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> are you going to cuddle now? God. I was going somewhere else. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Sorry. And you, and you put that on my bottle, you sicko. So, uh, the universe, I mean, you can look at it in the subjective way, which is the universe is everything that we know, and we just kind of group it all together and that's the universe or everything but it's not just everything we know it's because we it's can all of the space and time and yeah. including we have an envelope that we can't ever see beyond theoretically because um the universe is what four and wait no how eight. many eight eight, eight, eight and billion a half. years old i'm thinking of the earth's age then right yeah. Four and a half. yeah about eight billion years old and we can see other galaxies that are out about eight billion light years and we realize that beyond that is just this blackness we'll never see because the light can't reach us in time. Yeah. You know, since the dawn of the universe, we have this thing where like just the speed of light yeah. cannot. 
So Show we have what we what call the known point. universe. Yeah, and I right. think yeah. I think that's what's kind of gonna. It's happen. not our reality. If we find another universe, does now that we know it, does that make it part of our universe? Well, no. Scientifically, it's still, still another universe. universe. Well, the, theor- uh, the theoretical physicists, a lot of them, like to think of our universe as a bubble, and that as it's expanding, what it's doing is it's expanding against other bubbles, mm-hmm. and so that there are infinite numbers of universes. Mm-hmm. And we're just one of them. Uh, well, and the so idea is in some other universe. Yeah. Joey, you're, right. you're your phone, your thing. So. Mm. What? Camera. Stopped. Camera. Oh, it stopped? Yeah. Maybe. The did cannons. You, did you hit only pause? They maybe? stopped. No, it was recording. I, I remember seeing oh, okay. it. Okay. Did you say okay? No, but I mean, it'll stop at an hour if you only paused it. And no, I stopped. Stop. I stopped. You did stop it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Pretty yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Whatever. Wasting time. Now it's the Joey and Paul show. Once again, we will not have a video podcast without a period of time without video <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I'm, right. but the thing about what you're saying is the universe the original idea of the universe was everything that we know yeah and then now it's the idea that there's more than one universe and if we mm-hmm. find the existence of other universe it doesn't become part of our universe it's still a separate universe but one of the things that's really well, why is uh, it separate hard, universe? hard to do about that is yeah. that Fresh. apparently like each universe is self-contained like you can't get information from one to the other fringe if this theory is well right. so then you would never had, go ahead, you would ahead. never realize that that other universe then right like we can we can infer it through a theory that there should be more than one universe but we can't really ever detect it um interesting i have an idea of the universe which is you know we're talking about the big bang and that's as far as we can that we think we know but maybe what the infinite universe is is sections of like what we think of a universe, like a and then Ikea. another Big Bang over here, and another one over here, but we will never see them, or even <laughs> perceive them. Well, well, and that's that's the whole idea, too, is that now that we have a broader view of the universe, there's the universe, what's that called? The mega universe? Multi- the ultimate multiverse. Uni- multi- multiverse. Multiverse, yeah. Multiverse, yeah. Okay. Kind of like Marvel. The yeah. Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. All right so that was, back down. All right. <laughs> that was the chaos known as what? Why? Because I think well, I if you're watching this, you'll be like, what? what? Yeah. Okay. God, my so butt hurts that was, in this chair. Well, that was one of the Your cool butt things. hurts? Yeah, I've got swamp ass on my hand. Oh, I mean, what so are the chances of that? So many people, when well, they're I, asking I, about I, this, I, like, when's what? What's what? What? Oh, we're not oh, wrong. Oh, we're not wrong. Oh, sorry, Ralph. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what's your question? All right, we're not on timer anymore, so go for it. Go. Okay, this is a crazy one, but seeing how there's a lot of nuclear weapons with countries... And Iran. I think it's the, other the way weapons around. have their own countries. Well, I'm just saying that <laughs> Iran I say, I wants the other to pursue around. this, <laughs> Ooh, and wait. Israel has it, and Israel has drawn a line. So, when Iran finally does create a nuclear weapon, is Israel going to push that button? What? And why don't we just have everybody have all the nuclear weapons? So every because that's somebody, a what question. That's not a what. That's a what a question. What? The problem uh, is, is that I don't know. There are crazy people out there. Yeah. There yeah. are crazy people out there uh, what, which what? we cannot trust to have nuclear what weapons. What is going to happen? They're yeah. all little ruggers. Well, my question is, <laughs> what is going to happen then? What is going to happen when Iran gets a nuclear weapon? Well, we're well, stopping them from having one, so yes. we're saying they're so not get, going well, to okay, have okay. one. So this question is more what if. Nuclear weapons are... Ah! <laughs> now that's what I call a titty twister. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Next week. That's good. <laughs> For the audio listeners, I just <laughs> put a clamp on uh, Little Ragu's nipple. Right, which would be Ralph. Right. So uh, next week. He, well, no. Well, he's okay. he's asked this question. So my answer is what well, is what if Iran gets nuclear weapons? I think there's going to be. A, I honest. Uh, Israel is not going to take any shit from Iran. So there's going to be some sort of nuclear war. I think. Yeah, honestly. I think so too. You're dead. But, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. What about you, you guys? nipple clamped to death. So what if that happened? Then um, I think that there'll be a lot of talking and a lot of debates and there'll be a lot of speculation. I hope I'm dead. <laughs> He's all flattened. <laughs> That's great. And I don't know. <laughs> He's like Beaker. <laughs> And there's going to be a lot of shit going on. <laughs> well, I, I don't think it's going to happen. If they yeah. do, I think that they might not cause a nuclear war because you got to look at Pakistan and China. They both have nuclear weapons. And they India. hate each other. 
India and Pakistan. Didn't I say India and Pakistan? China. 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 You said China. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. In, thank you for correcting me. You're welcome. Thank you for correcting me. It's India and uh, Pakistan. They have both have nuclear weapons. They, they hate, hate each, each other's other. guts. They haven't bombed each other. That's so true. thank you. Maybe all right. If the shit's going down, get a good 1950s era frigid air and put yourself inside. Yeah. <laughs> You'll totally survive that shit. No, yeah. so, you duck and cover under your desk. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to work. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. All right. If they rip your heart out with the hand and beaten out, whatever, you'll still survive. By the way, Fallout will become a reality. <laughs> we are going to live through Fallout and all, the whole series of games. I can't wait. Nice. Oh, yeah, it'll be great. All right. Thank you, Ralph. Yeah. Yeah. Next week <laughs> will be Kale's choice. I wonder what it could possibly be. What? I don't know. Maybe well, something. No. <laughs> Next week will be Sex Part Two. Wow! Bigger, Amazing. longer, yeah. harder, and it will concentrate sloppy seconds on, on how to be a better lover. It'll concentrate oh. on the. Whole Kale's going to show us how to be a better lover. Are we going to have a visual with technique? visual aid? <laughs> I'm taking over Joe's puppet. <laughs> you want to be my lover? Sorry. <laughs> Next time we're coming back for uh, puppetry of the penis. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, no. okay. oh my god! Oh, like I said, my hand has swamp ass. So we need to what stop about now. The, uh, what about the people? Do you like the puppet people? Did you like my puppet? Do I you like my voice? Now, I like the people in the puppet. Eric, can you make a dramatic exit like? Psh, whoosh, whoosh. Yeah. Ah. There, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Nice. Very good, very good. <laughs> All right. Uh, See you later, Joe. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm in Ralph. Ralph, yeah. I'm in. Um, so, uh, next week, sex. <laughs> Again. Sloppy seconds. <laughs> Woo! Can't wait. Or next two weeks. That's right. We're on two-week schedule yeah. now. So we will see you then. Remember, you can always reach us. Show at IamRambling.com. This is your wannabe host, Joey Sham. And we also have... Oh, how did you... Kale Anderson. And Daryl Jones. As well as... Ralph, I need a <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Remember, we're incoherent, so, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. to. <laughs> right, now we need to all talk to Thanks for listening. You can now stop screaming at the open air. Listeners should put their minds back in their upright positions and resume traditional thinking. Find us on imrambling.com for access to all of our weekly ramblings, show notes, general discussions, and any projects from incoherent ramblings. Like us on Facebook and rate us on iTunes. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Talk like this because the music's going over like it's yeah. new, like you know. Oh, yeah. so like and like, I think what you should do is you should dim the lights, yeah, and then uh, it can go like dim the lights, oh like dim the, the pictures, so yeah. it's all mm-hmm. quiet, and, and then it's like just falling. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened? He hit himself oh, with yeah. the, the phones. <laughs> 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 and I'm back. <laughs>